And it's powered by Scanny and just probably the first lifeboat to be powered by Scanny is. We've had over the years a Gardner Ferryman uh, man in the Trent, but this one has Scania engines. Now the, uh, the, the, the jets obviously can make one jet can go um, astern and the other can go ahead and the boat can turn very manoeuvrable altogether. The lads that delivered the, the training boat down from, um, from Belfast uh, had bad weather off with no head and they said it was actually a fantastic sea boat so it has been well tested so far uh, in the waters here on the RSC and south along the, the 70 mile call there a month ago. No, I wasn't too happy about the, the Scanny engines this morning at quarter past five when they passed my house on the way heading out to sea. But it, it is a lovely reassuring roar when you hear the noise of the engines heading out to help somebody. You can see the manoeuvrability now, you can turn the boat like, like, a, like a clock. Well, if you remember having a clock. I had that talk years ago when I was uh, involved in training in the lifeboat and you tell someone to call a rope clockwise and they said what is clockwise? Because they're all looking at digital watches now and Fitbits and Apple watches there's nobody knows what their clockwise is. I see Gerald Rothlin finds out the music. <laughs> it's an absolutely fabulous boat. Um, it probably will end up being the biggest number of single classes ever built because the Arnon I think went to about 50 but the uh, Shannon will by far and away exceed that number. Anyway, I repeat again that there's um, the sandwiches and uh, the celiac ones and vegetarian. We didn't have any vegetarian in 1995. <laughs> you can see how maneuverable it is now. Fantastic seat keeping qualities as well. A lot of the stations that had it months before us um, have praised it. The Maurice had it about two years ahead of us and they praised it. They, would, they said jokingly that they wouldn't take back the print if they got it. Which is high praise indeed from a, a great station. Itself right here, of course, like all the classes of boats with the last uh, 60 or 80 years, self-writing. The wheelhouse is completely sealed, so that uh, and the weight then of the fuel and the engines are down low, so that heaven forbid if it did uh, capsize, that the uh, geometry will prevent it staying uh, in an upside-down position. This, this crew would generally be strapped in if the weather is bad, and the seat belts are like the rally cars. You have a full harness to keep you in your seat. And I want to thank the, uh, all the crew, including my own daughter, for being on board the boat there in the sun for um, an hour and a half or more. Uh, and give you up their time there to um, let us all, all enjoy this absolutely tremendous occasion. Thank you very much, lads, if you can hear me out there. I forgot to say that the, um, the entry into the marquee for the, um, the marquee in Drumlish is the, um, at the eastern side. For those of you who are familiar with North, South, East and West, it's at the, the hotel side. Come in there and out the ramp here then. And there's loads of, well, not loads.